Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and Overwatch is back at it again with the glitches and exploits. So we've had many exploits and glitches throughout the months of Overwatch. We've had the May 3v3 exploit where she could get over the map. We've had the D.Va exploit where she could get under the map but just like fall through in an abyss pretty much. We've had the May no slow glitch before and we had the duplicate glitch where you get four Widowmaker skins. Where that, that, that's not a glitch? That's just my bad luck and just trying to tell me you don't love me? Bruh! <laughs> the main point that I'm trying to make here is that the Blizzard team has pretty much been on it for the most part. If they see that there's like a game-breaking glitch or just something that really shouldn't be in the game, they usually fix it within maybe a week, sometimes maybe two weeks if it's really that hard. Like, okay, is this really broken? Should we really fix it? But pretty much they do a pretty decent job. But with this new Uprising patch, and it seems like every time there's this new event for Overwatch or just a new game mode or map being added into a game, it's just gonna cause a lot of things to go haywire and that's kind of unavoidable because when you add stuff to a game, it's going to cause the other assets that are a part of that game to kind of glitch out or just kind of cause an exploit that a lot of people like to just use in the game and just kind of ruin the fun for everybody. And what I'm talking about is like little stuff like, okay, there's like this glitch with like the Genji Blade. Whenever he can use his ultimate, a little green dragon kind of stays with him. Obviously, that's not too game-breaking. That's actually kind of funny. I saw in some funny moments. But then there's stuff like the May Freeze and Ice Block glitch. Like, so yesterday I was playing, I think, Volskaya Industry. I actually posted it in my competitive over Overwatch gameplay if you want to go check that video out, but pretty much what happened, I was playing Volskaya Industry, playing as May, and I think I got hooked by the Roadhog, and of course I'm going to go into my Cryo Freeze, because hey, I got hooked, I'm going to try to escape that, but for whatever reason, I went to my Ice Block, and I was still able to freeze the Roadhog. Some of you guys might not have known about that glitch, and it's not really something that's really talked about, but it's still possible that I thought I would just mention it in this video, but the main part that I want to talk about, and that a lot of people are even talking about in their videos, is the Symmetra Teleporter glitch, so pretty much what's going on is that Symmetra is able to use her teleport, but it's invincible. You can still see it. Anybody can still see the teleporter, but the little assets where it's like the actual blue teleporter, you can't see it and you cannot destroy it. And this is actually game breaking. A lot of people like to joke around saying, oh, Symmetra's broken. You just have to lock into someone and it just goes as far as possible. No, this is an actual exploit that is actually broken. And I wanted to talk about it. And of course, a lot of people are going to be mentioning it in the videos because this is a big thing thing that let's just say you're playing a competitive game, someone is playing Symmetra, and you're playing someone like Hanamura, right? And you're holding the choke point and she's able to get her teleporter. Well, she's able to do her glitch, she can just place it right next to the choke, and people can just go willy-nilly through the teleporter, and boom, you're right there. Well, beforehand, people were able to destroy it, and you have to be strategic. You actually have to be a sneaky Symmetra, and still be able to hide the teleporter. Well, now that you don't have to do that, you can just place it right next to your team, and boom, the Reinhardt can just go through the teleporter, and boom, they're right next to the choke. So that's what the big deal here is and then why I want to make this video. Now, some of you guys might be commenting right now saying, oh, well, why are you making a video if a lot of people are going to be able to use this uh, this glitch because you told everybody. Well, okay, first of all, I wanted to show people this to tell you guys don't do this, all right? Don't be that one guy that goes on a Hanamura Volskaya that uses this exploit because, one, it's it's not fair. It's it's just simply not fair because you can just simply go back to the choke and you can't destroy it. It's just, it's no fun for the enemy team and it's probably, okay, it's probably going to be fun for you guys. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna be here saying, oh, it's not gonna be fun for you guys. No, it's gonna be totally fun because you're gonna be able to win the game. But the second reason why I want to show you guys is because, okay, yeah, you can totally use this glitch, but Blizzard is gonna be after you. Blizzard, I think, came out on a post recently saying if people are gonna be using this exploit, which this is an exploit. The difference between a glitch and an exploit is that a glitch really isn't something that's gonna be game-breaking. That really doesn't uh, harm the gameplay, like the Genji Blade, right? Whenever he ultimates, that's a glitch. That's not really game-breaking. That's not gonna help Genji get more slashes in. No, it's not anything like that. It's not gonna benefit you, and it's not gonna harm the enemy team. But an exploit is something that you go out of your way to do and to benefit your team to make the enemy team at a disadvantage because, hey, you can't destroy this teleporter. That's the difference between a glitch and an exploit. An exploit, you go out of your way. A glitch just kind of happens and really doesn't harm the enemy team. Or, in fact, it may even harm you, and you don't want to do that. Now, what I've said previously by Blizzard saying that they're gonna be coming after the people that you use this exploit like obviously this isn't supposed to be in the game but if you just do it once by accident or maybe you just wanted to see if it actually works and it, hey it actually does then obviously you're not really gonna get banned but if you do it multiple times and people start reporting you and Blizzard sees that they're gonna make an example out of you and say okay if there is an exploit in the game we don't want you to do it but if you do do it knowing fully well you shouldn't be doing it then we're gonna ban you because this kind of thing takes a long time to try to fix usually patches coming out on Tuesdays and I'm sure the Symmetra patch is gonna 
going to come out Tuesday and whatnot. But this stuff takes time. It takes man hours to try to figure out, okay, if we fix this, is this going to affect any assets? Is it going to make the May glitch come out again? Or is it going to cause Reaper to not be able to ultimate or whatever stuff like that? It's, it takes a lot of like cause and effect to try to fix this problem. And it's videos like this that come out and say, okay, here's the problem. Please do not do it. If you do it, you're probably going to get banned and hopefully in the near future it will get fixed. So that's what I want to make this video is to one, show you guys, two, warn you guys, and three, bring this to Blizzard's attention if it hasn't already and hopefully just get it fixed as soon as possible. The main point that I'm trying to make here is that if maybe one of your friends or someone on your team or maybe if you want to do this symmetry glitch, I would highly advise you guys not to do it because again, Blizzard is, is going to come after you, not right away, but in the near future if you continue to do these types of exploits, they will ban you. But again, I'm not trying to be that police nerd saying, no, you really shouldn't be doing this exploit, it's going to ruin the you, you guys can do whatever the heck you want. I'm just bringing it to your attention and maybe you can help stop it. So anyway guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Go easy on Blizzard because stuff like this, yes, it does break the game, but they're, they're working on it. They are trying to bring it out usually every Tuesday to fix a whole batch of glitches and exploits that's in the game because this obviously isn't fair and this obviously shouldn't be in the game, but it's going to be fixed. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come and bye.